Hi, I'm Hussein Dillai. In this video, we'll see how we can bind a, view, uh, a model to a view inside an MVVM application. For that, I'll start by creating the three folders you know. So, the first one is going to be called Views. The second folder is going to be called Models. And the third folder, which will be called View Models. So in the views, I'll drag and drop the main page as it's considered as a view. And I'll start by creating a model. So it's a type of tag, of, uh, it's a class. I'll call it person. I'll change it to public. And this model has some properties like property of type string which is uh, his name and he also have another property of type integer which is his age so two properties for the person a name and the age I do, so in order for this uh, person to to be shown in the view so I want to show the name and the age in the view I'll use this uh, person as an as a property in the view model so here I'll create a new view model I'll just call it main view model course it is public class and here I create a property of type person and let's call it person and I want to bind this property to the view for that I'll go to the main page and try to bind that property to be uh, to show the name and the age of the person in this uh, page so for that i'll have to go to uh, build a uh, build solution or just click f6 so that it recognizes the view models and then i'll have to select the page node here and go to properties window select data context click new and here i'll have the view the uh, view models namespace and i'll select main view model so here now i have the views uh, bounded to the main view model now i want now what I want is to show the properties uh, call it name and age of uh, that person so I want to show them inside a text block so I'll go to toolbox and drag and drop two text block the first one uh, I'm gonna just um, resize it so size let's uh, set it to 14 and let's make a copy of it and so inside the first text block I want to show uh, the value of the property called uh, name and the second text block I want to show the property age so let's start by the first one so I select text block then I go to properties and look for a property called a text so here text it's by default text block I want to create data binding and here I get the property person and here I get the two properties and the type person and I'm gonna choose the property called name select OK then um, here 
it adds in the XAML this um, this property so text equal binding person dot name and here I just uh, because name is still empty I can't see uh, its value yet so I'm gonna go to the main view model and give it uh, give it a name and an age so I'll do that inside the constructor person equal new person and let's set the name equal sam then the age is gonna be 24 for example and now let's switch back to the view and select build solution then here is the value of the name it's now change it to Hussein let's do the same to the uh, properties of type uh, the age here I want to show the age so I select that text block and go to properties window select the text go to uh, create data binding then select the person inside of it I get the age property select OK now it shows me uh, 24 if I go and run this application now I'll get the name of the person I want to bind call it Hussam and age 24 